Hey everyone, just want to do a quick re recap for uh, week three for our cycle two uh, community gathering for CC. Um, overall, it was a pretty, a pretty good week. Uh, the new grammar went very quickly. Uh, probably one of the easier new grammar sessions of my recent memory. Uh, it's, it's actually a week where I would actually consider challenging my kid to a, me, you know, a memory contest to see if I could rem, you know, recall the, the memory work from that week um, because it just seemed like it was pretty straightforward. Uh, I thought it was interesting with geography. Uh, the Western European countries uh, you have in there, like England, uh, for example. I've been thinking a lot since the, the Queen's passing. Uh, the United Kingdom and just kind of the history with all that and you know what countries actually make up the United Kingdom um, the British Isles and, and other things like that so just that current event has kind of spurned some some thoughts in my own in my own mind and not that my kids would be totally interested in it but just something I think it's it's neat that you know there's some parallels you can make with some of the geography that you know, we're learning about right now and how it correlates with things that are going on uh, in current events. Uh, but yeah, new grammar I thought was pretty straightforward this week. Uh, I did with the three types of consumers, just kind of made up my own hand motions just for fun. Herbivore, I think of uh, someone like just eating like a salad out of a bowl. So we just kind of did a motion like that. Carnivore, just kind of animal, just biting into meat and ripping it out, thinking of, of that kind of scene, like a dinosaur or something. And then the omnivore, just someone who can, something that consumes any, everything. So just took, we just took a hand motion, we're just like so. So um, yeah, new grammar was good. Um, science, we did the see-through um, experiment where we uh, took three pieces of uh, kind of like, um, poster board or paper and just turn them, we put them on a pencil. Your kids actually have the, uh, the project uh, that we put together. And you know, once we put those three pieces of paper on the pencil and the eraser, uh, we held the pencil out like this and we kind of just spun it. And what that was supposed to emulate is, is looking at the rings of Saturn. And you know, we, we see them as rings but what actually what those rings consist of is pieces of ice and rocks and they're spinning around uh, the planet and you know when they spin at a high rate of speed you know from a distance it makes it look like like a ring but you can actually you know see through uh, those rings in the same way we were spinning the pencil uh, you could see through uh, the piece of paper although it looked like they were solid rings uh, being created uh, with the pencil spinning fast, you can still see through them as well because they're actually, you know, are gaps. So if you want to see that, have your kids show you what we made during during science. It was pretty pretty neat and I think they connected well with it, uh, with the example and then comparing that to Saturn. And we talked about some other things like Saturn has seven, actually has, I think, seven sets of rings. And there are actually four planets in total that have rings around them. Uh, see if they can recall the other three uh, I think it was Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter, I believe. Um, they should be able to remember. Um, so that was science. And fine arts, we did upside down images, which kind of, they don't always seem to get excited about, and I get it. Uh, we start out with easy shapes, drawing them upside down, and we kind of advance into more complicated pictures where the, the the final drawing that we tried was like a Roman soldier upside down and they you know we got a similar reaction to what I've gotten in previous years like there's no way we can do this um, and that's the idea is you got to take the image and when you turn it upside down don't focus on what the image actually is but focus on the elements of shape that, that make up the image and just kind of take one piece at a time so that's what we tried to do uh, I think there was some success and some may not have finished it and may have felt a little overwhelmed. Uh, but again, the concept is, is you know, focus on the, you know, the pieces, the different elements of shape, take it one at a time, focus more on, on the shape you're drawing as opposed to the entire image. Uh, so that was, that was fine arts.
grim review. We just um, went outside, did some four square, uh, which was a little more competitive than what I'd hoped it would be. We got a couple, couple students that played some hardcore four square during recess, and it was, I guess, a little bit more competitive than what I was hoping for. But I'm still good. We got through all the, you know, since we're only three weeks in, we were able to get through all the grammar that we've uh, done to this point. So um, mission accomplished. But overall, good week. And uh, so hope you enjoy the rest of yours, and we'll see you next week for week four. Thanks.